Hi everybody, thank you for joining me in my video today and I've had some more requests for uh, me to do more men's fragrances so I will be doing that for sure. I even wear some men's fragrances sometimes and I mix it with something like really sweet. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be talking about F Black by Salvatore Fergamo or just F by Fergamo. That's all it says on the packaging here. Really cool bottle. I like it how modern it looks. Um, it's really clear. This is the 100 ml that I have. All of this are EDTs. And this retails, it's a pretty good cheapie actually. Uh, for 100 ml, it was $30.95. Uh, 50 ml is around $23.45. And 30 ml is $17. It's really, really cheap. Uh, this is what I saw on perfumeonline.ca. That's the Canadian site that's also like similar to FragranceNet. Um, legitimate source for sure. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Um, and uh, this fragrance uh, is also seen it on Amazon, Walmart. Really, really inexpensive. So this fragrance came out in 2009. It's marketed for men. And it was created by Olivier Polge. Pol Polage? Sorry. <laughs> Um, if I say the last name wrong, and uh, he's has a lot of stuff on his resume, quite a bit. So just hang on tight. I'm going to read just the most popular ones that he has. So made are the this uh, line as well as uh, some flankers. He made Gabrielle Chanel by Chanel, uh, Pure Poison by Dior, uh, the one for Man by for Dolce and Gabbana, Jimmy Choo the original. Armani Code for Women, uh, Lancome La Vie Belle, big one, and the Flankers too. Um, and that one's by Lancome, Paco Rabanne Invictus, Flower Bomb, and the Flankers by Victor and Rolf, and Spice Bomb as well, and some of the Flankers. So there's way more that he's made, quite a bit more, but I'm just not going to get into them. But that's the most popular ones for sure. Um, so the top notes of this, there's two. Lavender and apple. Middle notes are black pepper and coriander. And the base notes are labdamin and tonka bean. So this fragrance, uh, this is, belongs to my boyfriend. He actually doesn't really like this fragrance. Um, I've actually been trying to sell this fragrance. And um, so if you are interested, I live in Canada. I don't necessarily want to say where, what city I live in, but if you do live in Canada, uh, just uh, connect with me on Instagram. If you were interested in getting this fragrance, uh, we can work something out. Uh, I'm actually for trades rather than selling fragrances, um, but I will not send this overseas because uh, there's a lot of, uh, Canada Post especially, but um, it's, you kind of need a license to send things online. I do buy things online, but um, I haven't been yet been charged duty, but if I am, I will pay it. If it's crazy, I just kind of return the item, but that's only happened once. But anyway, let's get into the smell. So see the bottle here. I have a little piece of paper here and I'm going to spray it. Yeah, I really like this bottle. Another one that looks like a flask. <laughs> and uh, so let's give this a smell. So upon the first initial opening, I smell apple for sure. It smell apple. It's got this, you know, it smells traditionally masculine. And it's got nice black pepper. There is some tonka bean as well that I do smell, it gives it some warmth. It's not too complicated in terms of notes. I think the reason why my boyfriend didn't like this is because he thought it smelled kind of generic. Um, I disagree, to be honest with you. I think it smells really nice. I think it smells like professional. Um, it's not very work friendly, but it's not that heavy either. It's really, it's pleasant, honestly. So I'm going to spray some here on this wrist and then I sprayed this about three hours ago. So. <laughs> this gets twisted. Okay, so there it is there. Just letting it dry a bit. 
So of course on me, it's gonna smell different, but on me, I smell the lavender before anything else. I Things with lavender tend to stick around on me. Lavender is traditionally a fragrance that is used more in men's fragrances, but I believe it's also a unisex note, in my opinion. Um, what makes this more like masculine is the black pepper, but okay, now I'm getting the black pepper like quite a bit after just a couple minutes of me spraying it on. I'm getting the black pepper. Like it almost it creates this like scratchiness in the back of my throat. Kind of like when you're smelling like lemon pepper seasoning, kind of similar to that for sure. <laughs> I don't smell too much of the labdomen, but I do smell some tonka as well. The apple is there and the apple and the lavender are kind of creating the smell together that makes it smell really like fresh and a little bit green. So it's kind of like spicy and green at the same time. But it's not that vetiver barber shop smell. I really think this has some unique points to it. Um, yeah, I disagree with my boyfriend when he said that this is kind of generic. I don't particularly think it is. So I'm going to smell it on this wrist where I sprayed it about three hours ago. Okay, so this doesn't smell too much like anything else anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so at this point, I smell a little bit of coriander, but not like cilantro, kind of like the, the green notes of it. Though I do smell that. The pepper is still there. And some of the tonka bean is there as well. The lavender and, of course, the apple are gone. But um, it's got some similarities to Spice Bomb and a little bit of an Invictus. But I feel like Invictus is a little bit more fresh, whereas Spice Bomb is more heavy winter fragrance. Um, I really like that one, by the way. It's great. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say I would definitely enjoy this. Um, the lasting power is not the best, to be honest with you. Um, when my boyfriend has worn this, I have not smelled any sort of sillage whatsoever. Um, like, I, as I was moving around, I didn't really get much whiffs of it. So, um, it is a bit maybe on the light side. So after just smelling it off the paper a few seconds, and then after smelling it a few hours, I think I would say it's a little, a bit more on the lighter side. Like if there was a spectrum and this is really strong and this is really light, it's like there. Not in the middle, but like two thirds on the way to the other spectrum. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed my video. I have a couple of ideas for some videos that are coming up. Uh, I have a lot more fragrances coming up, so uh, definitely subscribe for more. And, and if you have subscribed already, thank you very much. I'm so glad that you did. Um, it's what's keeping me going, that's for sure. And I hope you are safe wherever you are. And do subscribe to my, um, sorry, follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, I post a lot of videos, um, pictures on there uh, when I can, and just give you like brief descriptions on what the fragrances are. So have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.